गुड फ्रेंड्स गुड फ्रेंड गुड फ्रेंड्स गुड फ्रेंड्स लेट्स टॉक टुडे अबाउट अ वेरी सिंपल टॉपिक सर यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल सर डॉक्टर कालरा सर डॉक्टर कालरा सर या sir you are visible yeah. sir just like i don't need not even realize its importance but it is not only simple this topic is significant it is sensible and is something that we all must listen to so let's see if a broad range of patients with type 2 diabetes can benefit from the simplicity of lena glipton what does this topic say to us broad range simplicity let's try to define these broad range of patients for me means that i should be able to use a particular drug irrespective of the ethnicity age or gender of my patient i should be able to prescribe the drug irrespective of the glucophenotype of the patient that means the duration and the degree of hyperglycemia i should also be able to use this drug in my patients irrespective of what cardiovascular phenotype or what reno phenotype or renal uh, status they enjoy and simplicity for me is even more simple whatever drug i use in my opd should ideally be effective and safe across a wide spectrum of patients i should be able to use a single dose at a single time once daily without thinking too much about the need for titration or dosage so it should be a very straight forward usage for me not only safe and straight forward it should be stress free i should not have to worry about the need to monitor renal function hepatic function cardiac function and i should also not worry about suitability or compatibility with concomitant medication so let us see if uh, lena glipton actually lives up to this challenge is it useful in a broad range of patients is it simple to use now we are all aware of this data with lena glipton like with all other tpp4 inhibitors the efficacy is proven there is a roughly 0.8% extra reduction in hb1c at 24 weeks if the hb1c is higher at baseline you can even get a reduction of up to 1.7 or even 3.7% reduction in a1c so the higher the hb1c the more the reduction with linagliptin with linagliptin plus metformin when this combination was studied in persons with a baseline a1c of about 11.8% then we were able to get a 3.7% reduction so it is effective it is more effective in people with higher baseline a1c it can be used as monotherapy as dual part combination along with metformin sulfonylurea and pyo and also as part of triple combination along with other sensitizers and secretagogues so you can use it alone you can use it as part of a dual therapy and as part of a triple therapy you can also use it in patients who are ineligible to take metformin because of whatever contraindication in all such patients it is effective also irrespective of the body mass index of the patient you will find that hb1c gives equal reduction in hb uh, the linagliptin gives equal reduction in hb1c so i don't need to worry about what the hb1c is i don't need to worry about what the bmi is and i also don't need to worry whether the patient is getting another drug like metformin or maybe sulfonyl sulfonylurea or pyglitazone also irrespective of the age at which i prescribe whether i am giving it to an elderly person aged more than 75 or to a young adult aged less than 50 pyglitazone will deliver the same effect so it is this standardized efficacy this sustainability this strength this confidence that lena bling and lena glipton brings to the diabetes care clinic also we don't need to worry about duration of diabetes because if you prescribe it to a 
newly diagnosed diabetic or you prescribe it to someone with low albuminuria and when lenalidocaine improves albumin excretion that means reduces albumin excretion it is actually impacting both macro and microvasculature lenalidocaine is also able to delay progression to albuminuria all steps so it will prevent occurrence of albuminuria it will prevent worsening of micro or macro albuminuria and lenalidocaine is effective as a primary preventive therapy against microalbuminuria it will prevent the onset of microalbuminuria so you can say confidently to your patient that this is a drug which will help your kidney which will keep your kidney safe we have spoken about efficacy we have spoken about its use across a wide spectrum across a broad range of patients but what about hypoglycemia especially if it is being given along with insulin and especially if it is being given to a high risk group like the elderly patients so in this study which was conducted in patients above age 60 and who were on stable insulin therapy lenalidocaine was able to bring down the hb1c without causing extra hypoglycemia so a very safe drug to use you can use it along with other oral drugs you can use it along with insulin and you will not have an increased risk of hypoglycemia neither will you have an increased risk of any other adverse event so this is a drug with a with a risk profile that is similar to that of placebo so we see now that lenalidocaine is actually very strong very safe and very simple to use but what are the advantages that we enjoy in our opd when we use lenalidocaine some of the advantages for me are that it is a very stress free management of uh, management of diabetes i don't have to worry about stress i don't have to worry about errors so 5 mg once daily is what i use once daily we all use the same drug at the same dose irrespective of demography irrespective of hepatic function irrespective of kidney function when we use it once daily it exhibits the highest affinity and selectivity the highest potency and the longest duration of action as compared to all other dpp4 inhibitors its uh, mechanism of elimination is unique uh, depending upon the renal function and the hepatic function the other organ is able to take over excretion of lenalidocaine so because only 5% is excreted by the kidney uh, there is no requirement for additional kidney function monitoring with lenalidocaine and there is also no need to titrate the dose when you change renal function when you move from maybe normal to ckd stage 1 going on to 5 the same dose will be used throughout all the stages of chronic kidney disease recently about 2 to 3 years ago the carmelina and carolina uh, studies were shared with the general public sub analysis of these have been published now and these uh, sub analysis actually of all these uh, studies they show that across a broad range of uh, patient population those with established cardiovascular disease established kidney disease and also those who present early on in the course of type 2 diabetes but who have high cv risk the drug is safe to use there is no increase in three point mesi no increase in hospitalization for heart failure no worsening of composite endpoints so a drug that is very safe to use from a cardiac and a renal standpoint also no increase in risk of hypoglycemia across all egfr categories so you do not worry about hypoglycemia at all the drug can be used across all age groups and even when you use it in the very elderly it will not cause a worsening of three point mesi hospitalization for heart failure or kidney disease or adverse kidney outcomes neither in the very elderly will it cause hypoglycemia so this is a preferred drug for the elderly it is a preferred drug for those with renal dysfunction but it is also a preferred drug for all those patients in india in whom we are not able to monitor as frequently as we would wish to your patient says doctor i have come to show you now i come from a country 
and i will not be able to visit you again before uh, maybe 4 or 6 months give me a drug which i can just take without worrying about my kidney without worrying about my liver without worrying about low glucose that drug is lena when we look at these safety profiles what is presented in front of us this is consistent with its profile in the overall study population and also it is consistent or concordant with the kind of patients that we see in our clinic in our clinic patients do want good control but they also want to avoid hypoglycemia and they want to avoid weight gain and this is where linagliptin scores over glimepiride you are actually able to achieve good glucose control without causing any side effects so our topic for today was let's explore the use of linagliptin in a broad range of patients and we've seen that yes irrespective of what the ethnicity the age gender or body mass index of our patients is the drug is useful it is effective it is safe it is well tolerated it demonstrates its efficacy across a broad range of phenotype cardiovascular phenotype and renal phenotype but the beauty like i said is its simplicity you just prescribe one dose once a day it's a very straight forward usage you don't have to worry about safety signals about what spectrum of diabetes your patient is at and it keeps you stress free because it is suitable for all sorts of uh, uh, comorbid conditions and all sorts of concomitant medication thank you and i wish you all the best for managing your patients with diabetes let's work together to make india the diabetes care capital